I'm going to show you how to create C chart, uh, C control chart in Excel. Basically, the number of defects on a particular unit. In this case, um, the data set you are looking at is the car serial number. So this is one of the car from um, General Motors. Uh, the G indicates basically uh, GM. Um, and these all, all of these cars are from General Motors. This is basically uh, VIN number for Pontiac. Uh, so uh, one of the car was randomly picked from this serial number and then um, inspected and the number of pr problems defect uh, found was 23 uh, defective uh, items. So uh, to create a C chart, um, which is based on Poisson uh, distribution, uh, we need to uh, get the standard deviation so that we can calculate, um, let me copy the formula. This is the formula for C chart. Um, the C bar is basically the mean value of uh, Poisson distribution, something that you have seen in X bar bar or uh, P0 or P bar. This is similar to that. So it's the average number of defective. To calculate that, I need to count the total defective. So I can use a formula sum of these values. And then I have, I can count how many I have. So I know I have 16, but in case if I have a bunch of countless number, if I have to count, then I can just simply select that and then count number of data points. So I have 16 uh, cards that we have inspected and found these problems. So C bar is basically, I can have uh, C bar here. That is uh, this number of defectives divided by the uh, C value and I think I should freeze both of these because I'm going to calculate for uh, each of these car the same value so that's C bar now the Poisson standard deviation is the square root of mean uh, which you can see so basically upper control is the mean plus the three sigma up and then lower control will be uh, mean minus three sigma down so let's calculate the upper control limit which is basically the mean value plus three times SQRT. I'm going to select uh, the same cell. Come on, SQRT parenthesis, and then same cell. I think that should be enough. So that's the upper control limit. And then I'm going to calculate the lower control limit lower control limit it will be the same thing i think i'll just copy drag that and then drag it there like that so that's the lower control but i need to use a minus sign sometimes this copy does not work the way you want so this is the lower control upper control and then the average defective now all you have to do is basically select these and plot that will give you the C chart and use something like this this line chart so this is the C chart let's title that so I can say C chart uh, this one is trial we did not uh, clean anything trial control C chart and then let's title the uh, axis uh, so in this axis we have the number of defective or non-conformance uh, I would say number of counts let's say count of defective that will be better or count of problems you can say and this is the subgroup in this case basically the car we can just say subgroup in this case we inspected this car so that's trial control chart using um, the um, Poisson distribution for unit inspection so if we just inspect one single car and counts number of problems in there and then this is how we should 
uh, visualize the control chart. Now to revise this chart, as you can see, one of these points is going out of control. If we have some reason to believe that there are some situation there, something wrong or some obvious reason that is carved from that plan has more issues. So this one is coming from these two indicators, Canada. It's one of the plant in Canada and and rest of them and others. Uh, so we don't know. Let's assume that there is some obvious reason that that plant has significantly higher um, problems than others. So in that case, we can create a uh, delete that and revise in the chart. So we can say revised C chart. What I'm going to do, I'll basically copy everything, Control A, Control C, and then paste it here. I'm going to delete that because this is reference to the previous page. Um, so the revised formula is a little bit different, but the formula looks different, but basically they're um, not that different. They're basically the same, same thing. So all we have to do, if we have some obvious reason that this one is not, um, has some issue or we know the problem and some obvious reason that therefore it has this um, high number of uh, defective counts or problems in that car. So you can delete that and everything else is calculated. Uh, nice Excel tricks and then you can insert the similar line that we have. So this is the revise. Oh, I think I'm missing one point here. So, so this is the revise, um, revised uh, C chart. Let's type revise C chart and then have all the axis uh, levels. So this axis is the counts of problem. So how many problems one in those car and this axis is the subgroups. Well, in this case is the car individual cars that we have inspected. So that's it about the uh, revised uh, C chart and the trial C chart uh, based on Poisson distribution.